is that Morgan Stanley is kicking off its fifth annual Multicultural Leadership Conference, one of the only conferences to bring together a diverse slate of executives and business leaders. And joining us right now is Carla Harris, Vice Chairman of Global Wealth Management and Head of Multicultural Client Strategies Group at Morgan Stanley Investment Management. Carla, it's great to see you. Uh, usually we get an opportunity you. to do this in person. Today we're going to do it virtually, and I know you have a, a virtual conference uh, on the table today, more relevant than ever, especially given the conversation that's happening uh, across the country right now about diversity and race and inequality and everything else. Um, in terms of the, the, the not the newfound prominence, because it's something that you, you've been making prominent from day one, but uh, mm -hmm. given the changing conversation, how is that going to change today's event and what you're well, trying to I do? I'll tell you, and thank you again for having me on. It has been a pleasure to, to talk about this every year. This is our fifth year, as you know, holding the conference. And this year, you are absolutely right. It will have special significance. We decided to go virtual like most conferences this year, uh, and we wanted to focus on the topics that would be most germane, given what was going on with COVID-19. But given the social unrest and what's going on across the country, I think it will have even more significance as we talk about health care, politics, the economy, and frankly, the changing face of philanthropy. We'll have a real discussion about the stakeholders and the innovative transaction that the Ford Foundation did last year, with, um, last, excuse me, last week, which we were privileged to be a part of, that is, I think, a real unique example of a public-private partnership coming together to solve the crisis that will exist, especially on the other side of this COVID-19 experience. So we're really excited right. about this year. Tell, tell the audience, for those uninitiated, about uh, the, the transactional relationship with Ford and what you guys are doing. Yes. Last, year, uh, last week, along with Wells Fargo, we had the honor of being able to bring a billion-dollar transaction to the marketplace. And as you know, the Ford Foundation is a premier organization with respect to distributing funds to other nonprofits, especially around social justice. And I think that the, the enormous demand for the transaction is reflective of people wanting to be a part of the solution, both public and private investors wanting to be a part of the solution. And I don't think there's ever been a transaction and uh, that has come, Andrew, that has come to the market that has been for this use of proceeds. So we were very proud to be a part of the transaction. Um, I've got a question for you, and I think it's a question that's happening among managements and boards across the country. Um, you know, people have talked about wanting to diversify management, wanting to diversify boards, but I think there's now um, uh, much more movement on that issue, even in the last two or three weeks than you, you'd ever imagine, um, mm -hmm. or at least that, that we could hope for. But I think they're, they're grappling with this issue of using the word quota. I know it's a word you don't like. Um, and I, I wanted to try to understand how you think that these boards and management should be thinking about this, and especially when it comes to hiring, both at, um, at, at the, you know, at a college level, but also among the senior ranks. And you, you often hear about the pipeline issue, especially in the senior ranks, what they should be doing. Yes. I'll, I'll tell you, you're right. You, we, you and I have had this, this conversation before about quotas. And I think the word to think about for every company is targets, not quotas. Quota makes you think about a limit and something that is required. Target is something that is aspirational and that you are working towards, and it's something that you can exceed in that moment. So I think if they change the language, if you will, and start thinking about targets, number one, that'll make it easier. Number two, as you and I have talked about before, there's not a supply issue, not at all. There are lots of qualified multicultural folks in the environment, not only at the college level, but also at the graduate school level, and also broadly in the marketplace for lateral recruiting. So it really is around the intentionality, which I think the word target will help you with, with respect to filling your boardrooms, as well as your senior ranks, as well as your pipelines, with respect to multi multicultural candidates. So that's an easy way to think about it. 